Hi guys, this is Gaz from Radiant Silver Labs and today I'm going to be talking about how to make puddles in Unity. So what do I mean by puddles? Let's have a look at one right here. So in front of this place you can see these are puddles, very reflective puddles. Uh, but that's it's quite a cool effect. And I tried for quite a while to get that. So I'm going to just make a quick video talking about it and you can change the parameters and that and make them uh, you know less reflective and things like that so to do that I'm going to start from scratch with another puddle and explain how to do it as I go along so Unity is a bit slow with this project. Um, all right, where do I want another puddle? Well, let's say I want one. I don't know, around here somewhere. So the first thing to do, uh, game object. 3D plane. The plane's better because you don't have to worry about all the edges and that like you do with a cube. So pull that up until you can see it. Put it roughly where you want it. And this is the obviously the important bit is the material that you use. Um, so I'm going to bring in the side here and um, we're going to define a new material. So go to wherever you make them. I make them in uh, materials and I've already made one here but I'm going to make another one. I'm going to go create a material RSL my puddles. RSL is Radiant Silver Labs. I just put that in front of everything I create so I know what's mine and what isn't. Now we're going to drag this onto the plane as you might expect and that won't look any different because it's a standard empty material. So um, first thing you want to do is change that standard um, once Unity decides to res respond. Standard specular setup and rendering mode fade because we want only the puddles to show up so you can lay them on top of existing uh, materials. Now the hardest bit is probably this bit where you go um, you have to select an image to use for the puddles right well this one um, I'm using is um, is it puddle image B or B? I'm going to check my other one briefly. So if I just click on the puddle, uh, I'm using a file called puddle image B. And I got this actually from the Unity forum. I tried to find who it was exactly, and I can't find uh, the original username, but Someone on the forum made this and gave it away, and he had a little tutorial about how to make puddles, but I couldn't get it to work, but this image still came in useful. So we'll have a look at it in Photoshop briefly, just so you can see what it is. And I'll also put it in the uh, comments below, it, it below as a link on Dropbox. Now I don't think I did anything to it, it's just a transparent image. Uh, with this drawn onto it, which is like, you know, the surface of the puddle. So the white bit will be what reflects, and the transparent bit will be what's transparent. So you put uh, puddle image B into the material on your plane, right? Uh, you put that into albedo and specular. Now I can't really explain why it's using 
the same image. I thought you had to use the other one. You can see they're called Puddle Image A from his tutorial, but it didn't work. It worked when I used them both. Um, and I'll zoom in on the plane. Right, and the other thing you've got to remember is actually for Puddle Image um, B, the only one you need, you have to make sure it's set um, alpha. Where is it? Um, alpha is transparent. Did I do that or did I change it back? No. Oh, yeah, I ticked that there. You've got to take alpha as transparent or that, that doesn't work. Again, I can't, that just uh, makes it transparent, I guess, like it says it did. So, ironically, I think that's it. Uh, now, you won't notice this. You can see a little bit of reflection, but you need a, a reflection probe too, I guess. So, you have to go game object, light, reflection probe, pull that up a bit. Um, Probably you can leave all these to basic, you can make the resolution higher if you want and things like that. But if you hit bake here, now this is a slow process, so um, I will pause the recording while it happens um, because it takes up a lot of CPU too. So I'll be back after I've hit bake. Actually, that wasn't a slow process at all, it's very, very quick. Uh, maybe the resolution I've got or the bounding box of the uh, reflection probe. So now you can see actually in the puddle things are reflecting. You see it's low res but that's because it's a 128. If you want that higher you can put that higher. You see that yellow text? That's actually what is above here due to the uh, reflection probe. Now I don't actually quite understand why the text underneath here you can see reflecting from over there where it says number 96 but I think you must have to put more reflection probes but that's the gist of it um, I think you can you can apply a normal map too right to the uh, whole thing to make it look kind of good so if you've got a normal map and I've got many of these I'll just put water and look for one that looks like a normal map which has got that weird purple feel to it so if I just click that for example now you can see it's got a different texture perhaps uh, to extreme, uh, I'll do something. You can have water droplets look, so it looks like maybe fresh water on the surface. A uh, bit more thick or whatever. But actually, all I wanted was like really clear, crisp reflections that look like uh, it's just a pool of water on plastic or something. But there is a very subtle no normal map which looks quite good actually. And obviously you can uh, adjust the number over here to make it more extreme or less extreme. Um, and you can change the smoothness on the right here to make the puddle less smooth. Well that looks rubbish but uh, you can pull it up if you just wanted a tiny bit you can yank it right up like I say, you can get rid of the normal mount if you want it to be uh, completely flat. Um, and raise the quality of the reflection probe here, resolution. Oops, that's the wrong one. Um, I'll put that up to 1024 and see what that looks like. This bake may take a bit longer. Which So I will pause it once more. Yes, that took considerably longer than the last one, but you can see the quality is uh, much much improved, although you probably don't need really high resolution reflection maps all over, but um, ones that are most obvious, yes. So before I call it a day, I'm just going to uh, run the game and uh, we'll have a look at them. Okay, uh, here we are, back in the game. Um, come on Unity, now if I go over to it, you can see, that's actually a beautiful looking puddle, you can see it reflecting the, uh, the red sky and the green uh, from the thing behind the waterfall there, that, that's wonderful actually, it's uh, come out probably better than the other one in a way. Um, the distortion is really nice, yeah, that's 
That's awesome. See that reflecting there? there? Now that was a, a fun little thing to work out. It's not even hard to do once you know how, but if you don't know how, it's quite challenging. Um, and like I said, mostly the best, the hardest bit is this image, which I'll supply that uh, I didn't make, but you can see how to make them. They're really quite easy. You can paint them in uh, Photoshop in no time, especially if you're an artist. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.